junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 5 a.m., security tight around a federal courthouse in Miami as police get ready for a historic first. Details on the hearing where former President Donald Trump will be the first former U.S. president to be arraigned on federal criminal charges. Good morning, everybody. I'm John Gregory. And I'm Leslie Sykes. Rachel Brown has the morning off. Leslie Lopez is here with the forecast. Hi. Oh, look at the beautiful beginnings of a sunrise. Ah, it's beautiful. It is. Matches your jacket. Just wonderful. I like it. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. This is what it looks like today for heading out the door 70 degrees it is going to be a beautiful day bring out uh, anything that you were thinking about wearing that it's been hard to wear because the sun hasn't been out maybe it's the short sleeves maybe it's the flip-flops it's 70 degrees out in downtown it won't be incredibly warm but it will be sunny so it'll just feel really nice basking in the sun 71 over into orange county inland empire valley communities those temperatures are going to climb up to about 77 degrees today heading for the coastline it's going to be 67 the mountain areas are about 63 and then the high deserts just about 82 degrees we will have more coming up in a full forecast here in a little bit we do have to talk about some drizzle. There's still an opportunity of drizzle here this morning, an opportunity tomorrow morning. But then we also have your Father's Day forecast. That's looking pretty sharp. All right, we're going to talk more about that coming up. All right, Scott Ripon Air 7 HD this morning watching on the roadways. How's it going, Scott? Uh, it's going pretty darn good. We haven't seen much in the way of big problems. We had one on the 105 that cleared, so no worries there. We'll go to this problem on the 405 northbound in the Culver City area or traveling up into Culver City, 405 northbound uh, at Sepulveda. It looks like that vehicle that struck a Caltrans sign on the off-ramp is really drawing a lot of attention. We see a delay there now for the 405 freeway northbound towards Sepulveda. It's a solo vehicle accident. We're not hearing about injuries, so hopefully they'll wrap that up pretty quickly, but there is a bit of a, a slowdown at that location. Besides that though very quiet caltrans monitor five at the 710 in commerce even the santa Ana north which is always kind of busy up past the 710 doesn't look too bad leslie john thank you very much scott today former president trump will go before a judge in miami to face federal criminal charges in the classified documents investigation yeah eyewitness news reporter irene cruz is here live in the studio with a preview for us irene well john leslie he will need to answer to 37 felony counts the indictment alleging the classified documents he took and stored had information like u.s nuclear programs defense and weapons capabilities and a pentagon attack plan trump arrived in florida yesterday he's called his supporters to protest outside the Miami courthouse. The Miami police chief says downtown could see anywhere from a few thousand to up to 50,000 protesters. This is a historic case. It's the first time any former president will face federal criminal charges. The unsealed indictment says Trump mishandled classified documents that could have put military and confidential sources at risk and that he had stored the material in a ballroom, bathroom, Room, bedroom and shower at his Mar-a-Lago estate. Trump says he's done nothing wrong and that the charges are politically motivated. Reactions to the case still pouring in this morning. And this idea of presenting Trump as a victim here, a victim of a witch hunt, uh, is ridiculous. Yes, he's been a victim in the past. Yes, his uh, adversaries have obsessively pursued him with phony claims. But this is much different. He's not a victim here. He was totally wrong. Uh, that he had the right to have those documents. Those documents are among the most sensitive secrets that the country has. And Trump is currently the front runner of the 2024 Republican presidential primary. He will be in court at noon our time. Leslie. Thank you very much, Irene. Tory Lanez could learn his fate today. The rapper is expected to be sentenced for shooting Megan Thee Stallion. The L.A. County D.A.'s office wants him to serve 13 years in prison. Lanes, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, shot Megan after a 2020 party in the Hollywood Hills. Prosecutors say that Lanes continues to re-traumatize her with his social media posts. And a warning for women in Orange County. Police are searching for a man caught on camera assaulting a woman near UC Irvine. Video shows the man grabbing the woman from behind and groping her. 
The woman was doing laps in a parking lot near scholarship and graduate Saturday when it happened. He was last seen driving off in a white Nissan Sentra with a spoiler. Well, happening today, LA Mayor Karen Bass expected to give a major update on the city's homeless crisis. She and her team expected to talk about the Inside Safe program. Bass campaigned on getting 17,000 people off the streets in her first year in office. In her first 100 days, the city did get about